Hi guys, I hope you people are doing well. So welcome to the session again. Um, we did one of the examination question in the previous class where we did uh, a question from the past paper that was the Lopton Industries. Today, what I'm planning to do is that I'm planning to do two questions. Let's just see that if we are able to do two questions or not. So as I have discussed it earlier also, that uh, I'm not using the ACCACB platform because uh, of uh, the problems in using it. The reason being that at times uh, it gets stuck, at times it's not loading. So just to avoid this uh, issues, I'm actually using the revision kit and I'll be doing the questions through the revision kit. That's what I'll be doing. So I've already uh, uh, done one of the question and that was basically the Lopton Industries. So we did this question in the last class. We did the word, uh, we did the word also for the Lopton and now what I'm actually gonna do is that I'm gonna move on to the next question now. So the next questions that I am actually going to be doing is, uh, there are different questions that I have specifically highlighted. They're usually the questions which I have not even covered up in the recordings also, majority of them, the ones which I've identified. So I will actually be going about with a question, the name of which is Clone Yard and Elric, uh, which is from a September, December, 2020. 20. Okay. So, okay, the name of the question is Clon Yard and Elric. This is one of the past papers questions. Um, so again, what happens is that uh, what we would do is that we would actually be discussing about the requirements of the questions also, and we would be trying to attempt the question and see that how things actually go about. So let's just start discussing, let's just start uh, taking uh, this question in, uh, and discuss that what exactly is this all about. So basically, uh, the name of the question is Clonyard and Elric. The name of the question is Clonyard and Elric. Uh, as usual, uh, what I would want you to be able to do is that first of all, let's just try to discuss the requirement of the question that what are the requirements? It says required is it is now 1st of September 2000X5. Respond to the CEO of Elric's request for work on the following areas. So what do you need to do? You need to request them for the work on the following areas. Alignment between Elric and Clonyard the introduction of an ERPS, the Enterprise Resource Planning Systems. The question also says that the professional marks would be awarded and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's just try to see this. Uh, first of all, what I would want you people to do is that to read this exhibit number one, so that we could just have a bit of an idea and then we could take things forward. So can you just read through the exhibit number one?
Okay, let's just try to see that what is actually going on here. Uh, so basically it says that Cloniard is a private company which sells shoes to adults and children. Cloniard has several retail shops. They've got several retail shops. The mission of Cloniard is to satisfy the customers by providing footwear of excellent quality for the modern world. So what is the what is the objective? The objective is to satisfy the customers by providing footwear of excellent quality for the modern world. So if I talk about this question, the name of which is Cloniard. Cloniard and Argan. So when you talk about this Cloniard and Argan, what's actually gonna happen is that you would see that with respect to this Cloniard, it says that the mission Cloniard is to satisfy customers. What they want to do is that they want to satisfy, I'm just taking down my notes because I'm gonna be using them satisfy customers. How? By providing footwear, providing footwear of excellent quality. Quality and for the modern world. The modern world is what the target is. Now, Cloniard has built its reputation on providing footwear to those who have a specialist needs in footwear, such as minor medical issues. Such as minor medical issues. And Cloniard's staff excel at spending time with customers uh, to determine the customer's correct requirements. Cloniard has achieved modest growth over the past five years. So now some of the key pointers is that the staff is expert in handling customers. Expertise in dealing with complex medical cases. Then what else is there? Company has achieved modest growth. Company has achieved modest growth over the past five years. Now, what else is there? It says 12 months ago, Cloniard was the subject of a successful but hostile takeover bid by Elrig, a listed company. Elrig mission was to return value consistently to our shareholders by growing a market share and by offering unrivaled value for money for the customers. Now, the company taken over by Elric and Elric's mission statement has few things, which is consistent value to shareholders, growth in market share, value for money value for money to customers now if you would just read through this you would understand this thing that basically elric is an altogether different operation means like their option their objective is a bit different they're more shareholders focused they're more focused upon giving value for money uh, ideally that would be price competitive things like that Whereas these people, they are not aspiration of, I mean, like their aspiration is not to grow very quickly. Their aspiration is more modest growth. They want to have a good connection with the customers. They want to specialize. That's where the difference lies between them. Now, Elric's primary motivation for takeover was to enhance more market share by operating, by acquiring a niche operator. Elric's director also believes there is likely to be a consolidation in the industry in the near future and purchase if Cloniard is a reaction to that belief. Having acquired Cloniard, Elric is keen to retain the Cloniard brand and is also keen to ensure that all aspects of Cloniard business operations are integrated into those of Elric. Now, they want to integrate Cloniard into their business. So that's what they want to do. Now, what next is there? The next aspect is about the business alignment. Can you just go through it? Can you just review it? Because this is ultimately also going to create one of the requirement of the question also.
Okay. Now, it says LRIG has taken a decision at board level that similar range of inventory is maintained throughout all LRIG and Clonyard shops. Now, see, Clonyard was something different. LRIG is something different. But now, they've decided to maintain a similar range of inventory. Manager of Cough Clonyard's individual shops are unhappy with this as this is contrary to the individual specialisms of which shop managers were encouraged to develop previously. So now you were actually requiring them to have a different set of skills and now you're requiring them to have a different skills. Several managers have left the business. In order to help with the integration, Elric has ensured that each Cloneyard shop will have at least one of Elric's employees working there. Cloneyard's the staff have complained that Elric's members of his staff are more focused on ensuring a sale is made then is spending the required time with the customers. Clonier is also expressed concern about lack of technical product knowledge of LRIG staff. LRIG has retained most of Cloniard's directors. Directors have found it challenging to adjust to LRIG's focus on pursuing market share. So even the directors are finding it difficult. And recently said it's tough as they don't measure anything else. They just measure the growth. They don't measure customer satisfaction. They don't measure the quality. They don't measure anything. Every report we get about his market share and the message is always, we need more of it quickly as possible. CEO of Elric was recently told by management consultant that Elric should consider using McKinsey's 7S model to help with the integration of Cloneyard into the Elric's operations. Management consultant indicated she felt that Elric should only focus on the four soft element in this model for now. CEO would like you to evaluate whether Elric is properly aligned with Cloneyard using only the skills, the staff, and the style components of the soft element. Now, see, just trying to tell you that uh, that what exactly is 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 actually going on here. See, what happens is that when we talk about the McKinsey 7S model, the McKinsey 7S model has got different elements. There are hard elements, and there are soft elements. So, with respect to the hard elements and the soft elements, the difference is like this. The hard elements is the strategy, structure, the soft elements is staff, skills, style, shared values. So what actually happens is that this is what it has. systems. Now, how exactly are we going to answer this question? What is the examiner asking? So you would like to evaluate whether Elric is properly aligned with Cloniard using only skills, staff, and style. So now let's just talk about it. Let's just discuss that what exactly is this. So you got to talk about the skills, style, and staff, right? Okay. With respect to the request, of the CEO to evaluate whether Elric is aligned with the Cloneyard using the soft elements as defined in the McKinsey 7S model. The evaluation is made as under. First of all, you would say, with respect to the staff, skills, and the style. Now, the staff refers, okay, I'll just start off with the skills, as that would make. The skills refer to the expertise that the staff at an organization has. The Cloneyard employees were encouraged to develop the skills of the Cloneyard's employees were encouraged to develop the skills of uh, 
skills required by a niche player and their expertise was to handle the customers well and to develop the and to address and to be able to address the special needs of the customers whereas the employees of elric have a skill of focusing on making the sales rather than developing the expertise into an area with respect to this there is a resentment amongst the clone yard staff as they are not skilled to deal with the skilled to deal with the customers in the manner and in increase the sales in the manner that elric staff is skilled to furthermore with respect to the elric staff they are not good at the knowledge needed for the handling of the specific queries and nor do they have the skills which are needed nor do they have the skills which are needed to deal with the to deal with to deal with customers such that the customer satisfaction becomes a priority so apparently both organizations are not aligned with respect to the skill set do you get this do you get this yeah do you understand this okay so that's one of the aspect which is the skills aspect now let's just talk about the staff aspect the employees of clone yard are leaving as they have not been happy with how they are being managed and directed within the organization the staff element refers to the overall training expertise way of handling and treating the staff the staff are being forced to meet the goals and objectives which is a deviation from their original mission 
which was to focus on the customers rather than to focus on the sales. The trainings that are being the trainings that are being imparted to the employees are also based on the concept of focus on sales and this is not going on going down well with the with the employees keeping all this in mind the staff element is also not aligned well between both the organizations there's this last aspect and which is referred to as style the style refers to how the culture how the culture is within the organization and what are the driving factors for the organization's management management at clone yard had always focused upon had always focused upon ensuring customers are being given appropriate attention and that their needs are being fulfilled the employees have been encouraged to give customers the due time and the employees have been encouraged to give the customers the due time whereas at the elric the main kpi has been to focus on growth growth and the employees are being considered good if they focus on making sales irrespective of the satisfaction levels of the customers so the overall approach for managing the employees has also not been encouraging the conclusion is that both the organizations have not been aligned in line with the skills staff and style elements as laid down in the mckinsey 7s model and considering how the organizations are this is highly unlikely that these organizations could even be aligned the best approach should be to
Okay, so the best approach should be to keep both the organizations separate and let them operate in the manner that they were operating before the acquisition in order to achieve optimal results. So that's something that you could actually guide them. I mean, that's something that you could actually guide them. Okay, do you people understand this? Yeah, do you people understand this? Hello? What if in other question when assessing the alignment, two elements are aligned and one is not aligned, what should you? Okay, if one element is not aligned, then what you should do is that you should actually try to uh, try to ensure that you are able to overcome this misalignment between the elements. Because over here in this situation, it's like it's like uh, nothing is aligned. Yes, the training and uh, adaptation would be an option, but seems like it just cannot be the case here. I mean, it just seems like it just cannot be the case over here. The reason being that I repeat, the reason being that uh, uh, there is a huge misalignment between both the organizations. So, if you wanna if you wanna be in a situation where you want to uh, you want to actually end up in a mess then okay, try to align. But apparently the situation is very bad and they are two uh, different, uh, uh, I mean like two altogether different breeds and would be, hard, would be next to impossible to align them. Right, would be next to impossible to align them. Okay, now next move on to the next requirement of the question. The next part is the introduction of an ERPS the enterprise resource planning system. Can you just read through this paragraph first? Okay, so now let's just try to see. Elric and Cloneyard are currently utilizing different computer systems. So even the computer systems are not integrated. It is diff difficult to for the staff at all levels of Elric operations to obtain access to Cloneyard's performance data. Board has complained that any information it receives on Cloneyard's operation is too late, too late to enable the board to make decisions. The director of operations for the group, 
for example, has indicated that she does not see any reports on inventory level that each clone yard shop until at least three months into the financial year. So even the inventory reports are not available into the financial. She has also indicated clone yard shops appears to wait too long for the goods to be delivered to them from their suppliers. So apparently there are issues. There are issues that they are facing. I'm just gonna mark down. Uh, so inventory levels. Issues in ordering to the supplier at the right time. That's also an issue that you're facing. Information is too late to make any decision. Okay, I'm just listing down the pointers. As we move forward, I'll just talk about it. Now, can you just read through this part? Can you just read through this part?
Okay, let's just start off. Now it says the group sales director indicated that the data he receives on Clone Yard's monthly financial is at least three weeks late. At least three weeks late. Now, what actually happens is that this offers no opportunity to introduce discounted products in appropriate time. Okay. So it's got an issue that he's not able to introduce the discounted products at appropriate time, which is very common sales approach for Elric. Okay. So discounted product actually means that you think that this product is not performing well at this price. So you could just immediately adjust the selling price and see that if it could sell well at other price. Elric's employees have expressed concern that Cloniac's computerized are outdated and Cloniac's employees do not use computer system as much as they should. For example, it was reported it's common practice for Cloniac employee to place an order for inventory over the telephone and not enter the order onto the computer system until after the order has been delivered. Board has decided it needs real-time access to Elric's overall business operations, including Cloniac, and is considering purchase of an ERPS Further, a director has indicated use of a shared up-to-date information such as ERPS will ensure Cloniard operation is completely integrated within the Elric one. Cloniard employee will also be delighted with the brand new system. CEO wants you to evaluate the introduction into overall business, including Cloniard. Now see what happens is that, what is the requirement of the question? The requirement of the question is, CEO wants you to evaluate the introduction of an ERPS into the into the Elric's overall business, including that of Cloneyard. Now let's just try to understand a few things. See, what actually happens is that when we talk about the introduction of ERPS into Elric's overall business, what is it that's happening? See, um, The word evaluate actually means that you have to discuss. And when we talk about the discuss, it's actually the discussion of both the advantages and disadvantages, right? The word evaluate actually means discuss. The discussion would be advantages, disadvantages, both things. Now what next is there? So when we talk about the word evaluation, that means we are talking about the advantages and disadvantages. Now let's just try to do some of the uh, scenario. So what I would do is that I would probably, I mean like obviously in the examination, advantages. Uh, the advantages could be that up-to-date, up-to-date information about the products This will help in the decision of the introduction of the discounts also. The inventory would be updated at all the times. The system could even be integrated with the suppliers with minimum order levels, reorder levels set so that the orders could be made in time and the goods delivered in time. So there could be these advantages that could happen is that plus a lot of task would be automated. So the clone yard employees will not complain. And even Elric's rigs 
employees will not even be disappointed. You get my point. Even the LLX employees will not even be disappointed. What other advantages could actually be there? The ERPS can also have external data integrated <clears throat> to assist management with informed decisions. The disadvantages that are going to arise is going to be what? See, there are some generic disadvantages, which are like cost, the adaptation, adaptation, difficulty. The resistance of the employees to adapt time taking process to implement the system the objective of aligning both the organizations may not even be achieved through this alignment procedure as introduction of ERPS would not necessarily means that the systems will get aligned. What else could be there? What else could be the advantages? What else could be the advantages? What else could be the disadvantages? Okay, the adoption of the system could have an adverse impact on the motivation of the clone yard employees as they would feel to be losing control of the task that they perform and the system taking over from them. So this could also be the case. You see, this could also be the case. These employees, they can have this issue. So generally with respect to the enterprise resource planning system, the one of the advantages that actually comes in is that uh, it automates things, it improves uh, uh, the things within the organization, but the biggest problem that arises is that the cost element, the time required, and at the same time, this could have an adverse impact on the motivation levels of the employees also. Do you get it? Yeah, do you people get it? Okay, lovely. So what, what we have done is that we've been able to do this question, the name of which was Cloneyard Company. Now this question also had a requirement where the examiner was asking for professional marks will be awarded for skills and analysis and evaluation skepticism and commercial acumen in your answer. And although it's not how it is, 
either of the two skills would be tested in the examination, but let me just talk about it in a bit of a detail in this scenario. So basically, if we talk about the professional marks here, if we talk about the professional marks here, so there are things that I would want you to consider, which is number one. analysis and evaluation. Skepticism. Commercial acumen. Now see, just try to understand a few things. Challenging the narrative, making arguments, about the narrative in a constructive manner. <clears throat> That's important, right? The second thing is that the analysis and evaluation is like discussion, detailed comparison of the numbers, et cetera, et cetera, which is not the case in this scenario. Then commercial acumen is that should make business sense, should be justifying cost benefit analysis, consideration of the costs that may be involved in undertaking an activity. So all of this is going to be what the commercial acumen is going to be. All of this is going to be what the commercial acumen is going to be. You get my point? So if the examiner is saying that you have to talk about analysis and evaluation, so you've got to do the discussions of the different situations that could happen. The evaluation is like commenting the discussions, that's what it is. The analysis could be like, uh, if the numbers are being given, you calculate them, you compare them, that's one thing could happen. A skepticism is something which is like challenging. So you create a questioning uh, you questioning mindset, you talk about that. It, it may not actually be how you are thinking it to be. So this is what something that could happen. Then the commercial acumen is that comparison of the cost. Okay, see what happens is that uh, the introduction of the ERPS would involve a significant amount of costs and would require substantial amount of time from the key personnel. So it is important that the cost involved in implementing ERPS be considered as they could be very high and may not yield the desired benefits, which in this case is more of a focus on integration of a strategy. Now this pointer is gonna give you very good marks because it is like making a lot of business sense. 
So as you were asking that how would you draft it? This is how I would draft it, Nabil. This is how I would go about it. Does it make sense to you? Okay, lovely. So we have been able to do this question, the clone yard and uh, Elric. And I hope that you people would have been able to get a good idea as to how this question should be attempted and how this question should be dealt with. Yes, yes. Okay, so is that okay now? Okay, now what I would want you people to do is that to mark out this uh, question. Uh, wait a bit. The name of this question is uh, Sweet, Sweet, Sweet Kaisley. The name of this question is Sweet Kaisley. I'll just share the revision kit with you people also. 35. Okay, so what I would want you people to do is that to try and do this question, you could mark it out. Sweet Sicely is the name of the question. I want you people to do this question on your own. I'll be uploading the recordings pertaining to this specific question. Sweet Sicely. Yes, I'll just share the revision kit link with you also. I'll also share the link of the, of the workings that I'm doing, whether that be in the Excel, whether that be in the uh, whether that be in the Word. So I'm just sharing the link of the Word document, the uh, the revision kit, everything, so that you could actually have an idea that how to deal with it. I will just share them with you in the group. Okay, lovely. So I'm just going to share them. Thank you very much, all of you. Uh, see you, inshallah, day after tomorrow, but I'll be uploading the recordings for this. But first, try to do this question on your own.